We had a monster fish come in, and it must have been less than two minutes, and the, the reel was cleaned up, we got cleaned up properly. Some of the experiences I've had and, and some of the, the, the fish I've seen, they actually, I'm pretty sure they get enjoyment out of, out of chasing things and, and eating them. For this is the province of combat, and these are the faces of war. Look, I've always described GTs as a, they, they're sort of the gangsters of the flat, you know, they're really menacing creatures. Uh, First time I've been to a destination as exotic as this for, for such incredible species. Uh, cruising along, it's just those fish you line up, you know when you're going to put the fly in there, he's going to rush it and smash it. Stop! Stop! Yeah. Stop! 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 Hit! Okay, that's a big fish. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, yo, it went around your bag there as well. Fits inside. Come on, eat it. There we go. Inside. Just the initial take, lifting his whole body out towards him. You just see his eyes and the mouth open. You want to strip? You know, to see that, especially a big fish, just to sort of step it up a notch as soon as you put that fly, it goes from, from like a idle to, to, a, to a, a, a sort of take off, like a plane taking off um, within seconds. He's, he's sort of on the fly, sometimes sort of catches you by surprise. You can't actually believe it. A fish that size can move so quickly. Um, and you just see those, those eyeballs lift out of the water. Um, as he's about to take the fly, sometimes really close, you know, the bigger fish will will wait up until the last minute, almost as the, as the, as the, rod, as the leader sort of hits the, hits the rod tip, uh, the fish decides to eat it, um, sometimes carries on and, and eats the rod tip as well if it's anywhere near the water. Um, I've had it's incidents where the, the GT would eat the, eat the fly, eat the rod tip and actually swim up to the angler and give him a little, a little nip as well. Big fish just slowly came in, chowed the fly, and then I mean it just all went haywire. Just throw straight at that coral gummy. There's a fucking bus sitting there. Yeah, that, that one thing. Okay, he's coming. Drop. Stop. 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 He's gonna come. He's gonna come. Stop. 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 I mean, we lost that fish within, within uh, literally. I mean, it must have been less than two minutes, and the the reel was cleaned up. We got cleaned up properly. Purely because of. Just the way he reacts, and just the, it's it's not a long fight, but it's a it's it's, That's a it's GT just right impact. That's a big GT. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, this fish we might need to chase, eh? We might need to chase him. There's a lot of coral bombies out there. I don't think you can put much more on him. A GT is like a, like a high school bully. It's all aggressive and as soon as you're picking up for the photo, he's like sitting there going, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dude. Took it back.
Round you fishing? <laughs> Two lines. Come on. Two hooks. <laughs> Big day at four. Uh.